Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing, growing, growing extended family. Just thank you so much for being there. You know, knowing that the videos that I'm coming out with is not in vain knowing that it can educate you and hit you up on some type of awareness that can add to your journey of life of trying to find out is there anybody else like me is anybody else going through the things that I'm going through so that's a blessing within itself to know that my videos are coming good use so with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if if you feel like, uh, if you're comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or are you, you know, or you're just telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacts your life and hit you towards positive direction. If you feel like the video has been very informative to you or just gave you some good vibes you would love to share with a loved one or a friend or even a, you know, uh, an empath that are going through some trying times right now needs confirmation or validation, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit so thank you so much for the love and support that you've been giving me i'm so appreciative of all that love that you're sending me back and you know it makes me emotional so uh and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and uh my uh let me see what my meditation video y'all are going through a hot flash right now uh penal gland activation sound healing deepest meditation positive oh possible is isochronic tone music third eye so i'll be posting that link in the description box below it's really weird because it's like a big face with a hook you know like one of your ear earring piercings oh that tastes good because that was frozen um uh, yeah and it's all like psychedelic like if i was to still smoke that would really trip me out but anyways, my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka's when the universe is testing your gangster. You know, <laughs> I was like thinking, about, I was like, where did that come from? It is like testing your gangster. Because I remember I posted, a, uh, I forgot who, my daughter posted it. And, um, and it was like, it was something kind of like that. And, you know, and I have all three girls. So, it was like she posted a post talking about if you have girls, it's like with you being a mama, your girls test you on your gangster on a daily. And I start busting out laughing. I'm like, yes, I'm definitely sharing this. So it's like universe be testing our gangster all the time because you think you're strong. <laughs> you think you're strong. You all hipped up like, okay. You know, I'm going through this shift. I got this. You know, I'm going through this upgrade. I got this. I'm going through this download. You know, yeah, I might have to deal with a little bit of ascension. Kundalini might knock me off a little bit. The dark, you know, the dark night of the soul might put me back a little bit. Post me up on my brakes. But God, dog, when you have it all of them at the same time, it's like, okay, we, we, well, let me see how strong you are. To have your butt crying like a little baby with your thumb in the mouth thinking you need to, you know, you need a diaper change or something. Because I'm just like, Lord Jesus, come on now. Come on now. For real, for real. I can't. No, 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 no. <laughs> I can't do this. You be testing my gaze because I'll be like, I'm strong. I got this. And I'm like, oh, I can't. I can't. Lord Jesus, I can't. Y'all don't see me at that moment. Y'all don't see me because it's like I'm feeling all y'all's energy coming in. I feel it before y'all even watch the videos, and that's what trips me out. There's times that, you know, I've told y'all certain things, and y'all resonate with me, so y'all know what I'm talking about, because you feel like, oh, you know, I'm determined. I'm going to get this. I got that. Next thing you know, darkness come flying in. You got, you know, jackasses trying to step into, your, you know, your aura or, your you know, your personal space, and, you know, trying to tick you off, you know, a bill will pop up. You know, a daggone tire might blow. Something might jack up on your car. Knowing you were already trying to rob Peter to pay Paul. All these crazy things. And you got to stay strong through all this. On top of that, you're going through shifts, upgrades. And all three of the, you know, going through a spiritual attack. Uh, spiritual flu. Vibrational flu. Ascension. Dark Knight of the Soul. And Kundalini. 
in a spiritual awakening, boy, if that don't take strength, I don't know what will. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. So, you know, you got to stay strong. You know, universe be trying to come at you. But you have to understand, when we have things like that that pops off, that we really need to pay attention to. And it really, you know, that's why I said we got to stay woke. You got to pay attention to everything. When it comes to your enemies, when it comes to your foes, because enemies and foes is two different things to me. I feel like they really is. Even though they're in the same daggone category, they come up on different levels. All them suckers got different levels. It's like the Mario game. Wah, wah, wah. It's just too many things that's going on. But knowing the things that you're going through, knowing the magnitude of the things you're heading for, you it, it, it gets tough. It gets really tough. And it's just like, you know, like with my situation, I have to look at it like you're going to have to deal with a whole bunch, a whole bunch, a whole lot, a whole lot of, you know, because it's like when things come out, you're going to have people all up in your face, asking you 50, 11 questions, you know, stealing pictures, trying to look for mug shots, looking to see which, you know, if there's anybody in your family is a murderer, you know, all kind of crazy stuff. That's why I let everything out now. So when things pop off, ain't nothing y'all ain't sit up here and said, you know, like I tell y'all, you might find a mugshot picture, you know, all these different things. But it's not like you didn't know this in the beginning. You just didn't have a picture or the backstory to go along with it. Because it's like, oh, okay, when this pops off, oh, Rosalind told me about that. Oh, she's been real with us about these things. You know, I'm mean, like, you, you're not saying anything we didn't know already. Because it's just like, when stuff like this pops off when it comes to people, like, if you don't know who I'm related to or whatever, please go see my intro. But it's just the fact is, when you go through all these different things, you know, I, like, I don't even understand how my dad did it. Because it's just like, you know, that's dealing with too much. But it's just like, I try to let, I keep real as real as it can be. Because I don't want to feel like I'm hiding anything. Thing. It's like because people look for dirt for you. I'm already telling you mine. I ain't gonna be like no Carly B or something like that because I ain't never did nothing like that. It's gonna put me in jail. So I said I love home girl, but no, there's certain things you just don't need to be telling people. You really don't. But I mean, it's just the fact is I've done things I ain't proud of, but it has made me who I am today. And it has made me so strong. And it has made me very knowledgeable, very wise. You know, I used to, you know, gun you know, go jumping and stuff half cocked and I, you know, it's not like now I try to think about all the angles before I execute the program, you know, so it, it's just like when you go through things like this, yes, the universe is going to test your, your gangster on all levels and you have to protect things at all costs. <laughs> so when all these things come about, you're going to be prepared, ain't going to never, going to be nothing that's going to be able to shake you and it's like when something pops off, you'll be able to stay in your ground. It's like, okay, what else you got? You know, you're going to have to get that. You know, when you want to, you know, I'm just like, I just like to use different metaphors like that. I hope you ain't no gangster, you know, gunslinging and all that stuff. But it's just like, with the things we got going on, the things we're up against, you have to be that rock of Gibraltar. <laughs> you know? So it's just like the things you go through, know that you're going through it for a good daggone reason. Knowing your pain goes far past any great purposes that you could ever imagine. You know, with mine, it's just like I sacrificed a heartbreak to be able to help millions of people. That's a beautiful blessing. I don't know what else I'm going to get in return to that, but I know it's going to be something nice. I know it's not going to be no keychain or nothing like that. But you know, I'm prepared. I'm trying to prepare myself. Let me say I'm a prepared, but I try to, you know, dot all my T's and, you know, dot all my T's and cross all my I's, like my mama say. But when you go through all these different things, you prepare yourself. You know, I, I tell people the real deal. Some people can accept me. Some people cannot. But it's just like I try to tell people it's not to brag, but it's to give you the reason why I do the things I do being able to be that open book and tell you what has happened to me what kind of trauma i've experienced going up through years i haven't really told you word for word because i you know that's too heavy you know i feel like you know when my book comes out you'll be able to know the things i went through you'll be able to know the things i experienced you know i tell y'all little snippets of certain things i went through but it's just like going you know doing my book that i wrote it was like uh, it opened up a lot of wounds, but I know it's healed me because it was like something I had to do. 
You know, I had to be able to tell people from the time I was little how I connected with my father, the dreams that I've had, uh, how my family treated me because of who my father was, you know, not having a connection with my mom, which was very weird, uh, being able to have that not actually like a twin flame, but an actual twin, because I was a twin with my dad. We look identical. We have the same birthmarks in the same places, which is very crazy, but I was supposed to be his twin. I remember my past life with him, and I passed away, and that's a very traumatic experience to be able to remember that, and just knowing he remembered it, because there's times he's mentioned it in different interviews, you know, and being able to relate, and it's like, dang, I guess it, you know, I, I guess it wasn't a lot that did happen. But being able to, you know, know these things and being able to express them at a very young age was very scary, but it was very weird. But it was very exciting at the same time. But knowing all these things happened to a reason for me. And I mean, it was very traumatizing. I know I'll probably come out at a later date on the death, on the reason why I had to go through this. And, you know, I feel like there's more the universe has not told me or exposed to me. But there is just like on a need to know basis, just like everybody else's journey to know that we went through these situations for a reason, knowing that, you know, these these the things that we go through on the magnitude, it goes far past us, you know, um, being able to know like I did mine is like to have like I've seen this post that I put on my last on my first my second video I just posted today. And it says it's not all about you. It's like your situation is going to you know, set off, it's kind of like you're setting off a spiritual legacy for others, and that was like, dang, that's deep, you know, that fits me all the way, but, because it's just like, when I can get that confirmation and validation from y'all, even though it makes me break down in tears, to know that you tell me, Rosalind, you know, my videos has helped me on different levels, on knowing how strong I can be, knowing to recognize the gifts and embracing what why I am the way I am is nothing to be ashamed of there's nothing to you know where you should hide you know that's what we had to do our whole lives we've been discarded and shunned upon being like we are you know being the loner or being the child that didn't really have that many friends because of who we were going through a lot of uh childhood trauma and abuse being able to help people in those magnitudes it was it, it's really a blessing to me you know it's just like y'all y'all send me these emails and i start crying like oh my god y'all don't know how much y'all pull on my heartstrings you know when you tell me rosalind keep up the good work rosalind keep making these videos they resonate i need to hear this today you know this this pinpoints the things that I'm going through in life and knowing that I can be able to help other people like that I remember seeing people out there doing these things and how it affected me in the best way possible and say you know what I want to be like when I grow up and being able to do this now you know yeah my 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 community is small but I know it's about to be in a magnitude that I'm not even going to be imagining I mean I could ever imagine and knowing I, I mean I might I might get emotional for that but it's a beautiful thing that I'm doing this for nothing in return. Just to basically be able, the only thing I like in return is when I know that you're happy, you're healed, you accept your gift, you're embracing whatever is unknown to your life and around you and being okay with that and knowing that you're going to be able to survive whatever is being thrown at you. So, I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video. I love y'all so freaking much. And I hope y'all have a blessed, safe weekend. If this doesn't come out Friday, it will definitely come out Saturday. Because I know two videos, two videos I did. It's probably going to take about five days. So, y'all probably get this next Thursday. <laughs> so, because YouTube be slow like that. They set up like, you know, like, like Morris Code or whatever. But, much love to you. I hope you, you know, you like and subscribe. Drop me a line and let me know you resonate with this. Give me your opinion. I would love to hear the feedback. Um, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there is always someone out there praying for your better days. And I'm giving my post notification shout out to Crystal as Brooks. Um, Aisha Brooks, a.k.a. Energy Love uh, Being. Much love to you. Welcome to the fam. And I will see you on my next video. Much love, peace, and be wild.